Hey, power players and go-getters. Today, we're getting up close and personal with a titan in the arm wrestling scene, Sarah Beckman, a queen in her domain. Sarah's journey from a sport-hating youngster to a world champion is a tale of fire and iron. So buckle in and get ready to know more about this force of nature from Sweden, who's smashing stereotypes one arm wrestling match at a time. Sarah Beckman is a professional arm wrestler, hailed as one of the most influential female figures in the sport. Born and raised in Stockholm, Sarah was the strong one in her childhood arm wrestling bouts, even though she hated sports and was overweight as a kid. Her passion for arm wrestling ignited just before her 15th birthday, when a recreational leader at her school suggested she should take her strong arm antics to a competitive level. Since then, it was all about bringing the heat, resulting in her conquering the world championships in Kelowna, Canada in 2008. Being an arm wrestler, Sarah's workout regimen revolves around improving her technique and building her strength. She primarily focuses on forearm, wrist, hand, finger, back, and chest exercises. Her secret weapon? Her mind. She believes in the power of focus and mental strength to push through the most grueling matches. Sarah is not your everyday athlete. Her training sessions may be infrequent, but when she does train, she brings her A-game. Her regimen includes arm wrestling, too three times a week, and hitting the gym perhaps once a week with a focus on specific muscles that aid in arm wrestling. As for rest, Sarah listens to her body. She trains hard when she feels motivated and allows herself to take a step back when her body asks for it. Food is a big part of Sarah's life. She loves it as much as arm wrestling. She doesn't believe in dieting, as she feels it doesn't contribute to getting stronger. She prefers to eat what she wants whenever she wants, believing that happiness fuels her strength. Sarah's motivation is not external, but internal. She competes for herself and her victories are for her alone. She emphasizes that everyone should live their life as they wish to, not letting anything get in their way. Sarah's journey took an unexpected turn when she sustained a serious injury to her subscapularis muscle, a key component in the arm wrestling sport. She admitted to having walked and trained with the injury for about a year before addressing it. Paralleling a similar injury she had endured three years prior, the severity of the condition gradually increased over time, resulting in a complete tearaway from the bone. The injury dramatically altered Sarah's training routine. Despite experiencing significant pain and discomfort, Sarah persisted, albeit with modifications. She chose to forgo any specific training with her left arm, focusing on exercises that involved both arms. Despite the absence of targeted left arm training for over a year, Sarah remains hopeful that the strength and size of her arm will remain relatively unaffected. In the wake of her recovery, Sarah is eager to make her return to the sport she loves. Although she acknowledges the potential setbacks due to the severity of her injury and the prolonged recovery period, her spirit remains unwavering. In fact, Sarah is already planning her comeback match in August against a legendary arm wrestler from Canada, preparing diligently despite her restrictions. 